Ah, fire! Burn! Burn! Ah, 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 burn! 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 Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Hey guys, uh, welcome back for more of STs LPs. I am Snack Transfer, and uh, welcome back for more Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we got these slingshots right here. I can't exactly take it out when I'm inside my own house because I don't want to break anything. You know, I'm a responsible adult and all that crap. And we also got the wooden sword that, from that guy that's kind of weird. Eh, talks in an awkward voice. Anyways, we're gonna go rub it in the kids' faces. You hear that, townsfolk? You don't have toys like I do. No one does. I don't need no stupid ladder. I'm a boss. Snag has a slingshot! Whoa! Whoa, you had enough money to buy it, Snag? Why is the screen turning white? Did I break the game? By the Austin awesome says, oh, okay, what's going on here? Um, what? <laughs> Preparations complete. Okay, wow, this is great. Let's see how powerful its slingshot is. Hit the targets and those scarecrows. I can't believe you two brats are obsessed about this. It just shows what little boys you both still are. These two will never let it go, Snake. Just show them. First, use the Wiimote to aim. Yes, I've already explained this in the last episode, but in case you don't know, you use this to aim by holding B, and you're gonna hit the targets. And they'll be like, OH MY GOD, YOU HIT THAT TARGET! Uh, it says in the slingshot manual that you can tilt with the control stick to look around while using the slingshot. When did the slingshot come with a manual? I thought you weren't interested in Beth. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Uh, if you can also Z-target as well, so we might do that to these scarecrows right here. So we're just gonna hit all the targets like uh, they're lined up to. Kinda sucks that you actually have to use your own ammo, but whatever. I mean, they're just kids, I can't supply my own ammo. Some minigames actually do it, though. And there we go! I love his I love Mallow's mouth right in the middle, he's like, OH MY GOD! Whoa, amazing, Snag! If you lock on with Z, then you don't have to aim with a cursor at all! Like I've explained before, amazing redundancy. Gee, you really are amazing, Snag. Yeah, you are. You can even use swords and slingshots and everything. Yeah, that reminds me. You gotta teach us how to use a sword, too. Seriously, lately these monkeys have been coming out of the woods and wanting to play tricks on us. Tricks on us? We want to get them good. Come on, teach us how to use a wooden sword. Yeah, I don't see the harm in it. No, weaponry should be fun. Seriously, dude. Alright, first off, we want to see that move. And that would be... The slice. Oh, gotcha. Um... You just swing the Wiimote, right? Okay, so... Pull out the sword by swinging your Wiimote. And... Horizontal slice. Wow, a horizontal slice, was it? That was it. I think I've seen you do a vertical slice, too. You know, by swinging the Wiimote while Z-targeting. Alright, next. Oh, I want to see another move, Snag. Yeah, the, tar the one where you target with Z, then tilt up forward, and then swing the Wiimote. Oh, please, the stab. Yeah, so, I don't know how Link is supposed to know how to do all this, but yes, you Z target, you go forward a little bit with the uh, control stick, and then you just swing the Wiimote, and there's a the stab. Oh, Snag, just amazing! Since you're all new at it, how about you show us that other move? You know, the twirly thing you could do. I love that attack. What do you call it? A spin attack? You simply lightly shake the nunchuck side to side. I love how Mallow gives us the instructions. So yes, the if you shake the nunchuck, you'll actually spin around. Oh wow! Thanks, Snag! She seems to be really into it, even though she says she wasn't. Prick. I'm sorry you have to waste your time with these little brats when you, you could be you must be tired from doing all the important stuff you do. Hey, wait! You gotta show us the jump the tag before you go. You know, the one where you go, hi -ya! and leap through the air. The thing you do with A while Z-targeting. <laughs> I love how Mel just keeps giving us instructions. That's amazing. Z-target and press A. Whoa! That was a mouthful. That was a mouthful. Thanks, Snag. So, uh, I, I think I get it, kind of. Maybe not. So this means that anytime one of those naughty monkeys shows up, what? Hey, look, there's one right now. 
That was just so convenient, wasn't it? Come here, you! Uh, um, I don't like that music. That doesn't sound good. Um, come on, Epona, let's go. We need to go get our, uh, kids back. Wait, kitties, I haven't told you the next lesson yet! Don't run away, I love you! Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Hold on, let's ask this kid. Tell and Mallow went chasing crazy people after that monkey. They went cra chasing crazy people. I just said that amazingly. I can't keep up with those two. You're too slow! Okay, so we gotta go get those two. They're too fast. Alright, what do you got to say, evil baby? They went that way. The rest is up to you, Snag. Wow, you're so helpful. I'm surprised this bridge can actually carry a full-grown horse, but whatever. Okay, let's keep going. So yes, if you actually press A, uh, well, I don't need to explain that. It's pretty evident. If you press A, you'll get a little boost. So, yeah. Anyways, Ferron Woods. Freaking tallow, man. Freaking tallow. Why'd you have to go and run off? Let's go. And... Leap of faith! Oh, this is a neat spring. Let's keep going. No time to waste. We have to get tallow. Uh, when you get to this point, however, um, you won't be able to ride a Pona or your horse anymore. Transfer, in this case. Uh, you can also cut grass while you uh, use the sword as well. Just so you guys know. You can also do it while you're running. This is actually something new they uh, brought into the uh, Legend of Zelda as well. You can actually cut grass while you're moving. So, yeah, it's actually a pretty helpful feature. It'll actually scare uh, your horse, though, so don't do it around her. Uh, die! Oh my god, it's a killer plant! What the hell was that? Oh, jeez, man, jeez, what the hell was that? Okay. So, if you go over here, and there's this dude with an afro. It's the Afro Samurai! Oh my god, can I get an autograph? Whoa, an Abdordian. Hey, guy. Listen, I'm not sure why you'd be wandering around the woods without a lantern. Just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. There are tons of caves and dank spots around here that get pretty dark, even in the middle of the day. Here, go on, guy, take this. And you got the lantern! In order to see in dark places, we could set it with B and all that good stuff. So basically, yeah, we can see in dark places now. I see. I sell lantern oil here. I'm trying to drum up sales by giving away free lanterns. It's a business tactic, guy. See, as long as you got oil to fuel your lantern, you can light your way and set fire to stuff. They're the best. Go on, guy. Try setting a fire into that big pot. Okay, so what you're going to do is pull out your lantern. We're going to set it to the side. That way we can just switch it for easy access. And now we've lit in the pots. Well, not the pot, but the fire under the pot. It burns! That's right. See? It's on fire, guy. Fire guy? Wow. Yeah, you keep using that lantern anytime you feel the need. And if it runs out of oil, you come see me to get it refilled. Well, he's happy, isn't he? So happy. Um, no, I am not going to get oil. No oil for me. Oh. Okay, so also you can um, fill up your bottle with uh, lantern oil if you need be. And this is nasty soup. I didn't want the nasty soup. You hungry, guy? You want some soup? Feel free to have as much as you like. I don't know if you like it, so don't blame me if you get sick, okay, guy? Let's go ahead and drink this nasty soup. Because I don't think I really want it. Okay! <laughs> you actually lose health from uh, using it. That's bad. Uh, I've never actually tried that before. I never knew I actually could cook soup right there. That's bad. But yeah, he actually sells oil for you if you need to use it. But don't bother drinking the soup because it actually takes away your health. Like I, it did to me. S the soup is evil! You found a play wooden sword. It's Talos. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. We're coming for you, Talos! Freaking kids, always learn running away from my side, those little pricks. Okay, so in order to get through this cave, we have to fight some bats. Huh? Gotta fight bats? What am I, Batman? No! I'm not Batman. Same bat time, same bat channel, no. Okay. So let's keep going through this dark cave that we can't really see. It's kind of eerie, isn't it? Let's get our sword out. Whoa! Killer plant! Killer plant! Jeez, man. And there's some pumpkin seeds right here. We can actually use them for the slingshot ammo, even though we don't really need to. 
The thing about the slingshot is you won't really find yourself using it that much, so... Yeah. It's not, it's not that strong, which is why... What is that? It's a rat! Wow, rats, bats, and killer plants. Isn't that amazing? Uh, let's get a little target practice by hitting these pots right here. Uh, if I can aim at the screen right. Bozinga! Bozinga! Okay. Get some money! No, I... Like this up. And let's take a little detour here, shall we? Whoa! Killer plant! What, am I gonna announce it every time I see a killer plant? That's not cool, man. It's not cool. Um, if you go right here, there's actually a hidden treasure chest right here. And I believe it contains a good portion of money. Worthwhile your time. A uh, good yellow rupee worth 10 rupees. So it's basically our $10 bill. Very cool. Very cool. And let's kill these pots right here. You know, I kind of feel bad for breaking all these pots in the Legends of Zelda games because... I mean, somebody had to work hard on these pots. I mean, really, these things take time to actually make, and yet we're just breaking them like they're nothing. I was in ceramics class, so I should know. <laughs> okay. So anyways, made it through the cave. Thank God. That was an endeavor, wasn't it? Killer plants everywhere. Killer plants. Ah, oh, okay, we got our health back. Then we don't have to listen to the crappy beeping. Uh, rupees, yum. I don't know if they are yum, but whatever. Another killer plant. Come at me, bro! Oh no, you didn't! Oh no, you didn't! What the heck? Is that a gremlin? Quick, get a microwave! And drop a red, a blue rupee. Nice. Okay. So yeah, so you notice that we picked up a blue rupee and it actually didn't go over and do that uh, weird thing where it says, Hey, this is a blue rupee worth five rupees. Uh, that's because every time you turn on the game, it will actually uh, explain that, in case you forgot it over a long period of time. Like, you haven't played this game in a while, you're like, Oh my god, what does this mean again? I forget. Yeah, even though you probably picked up the game after two days. So anyways, we're gonna head over into this cave real quick, and you'll notice that there are uh, red lights on the actual map. Those are for good reason, they're actually telling us where to go. This one in particular is actually leading us to a secret in this place. Oh, and there's another gremlin. There's a gremlin in here! You must die! And there's a bat. What the? What the heck? <laughs> Rapid succession much? Jeez. I'm like, pissed, man. I'm pissed. Don't piss off Link, jeez. Okay, so if you like both these torches, a um, chest will actually appear above the one that's below it. And trust me, you're going to want to get this chest, because it's very important for the game. So if you open this chest below here, you'll get rupees. I mean, you'll get a small key. Yeah, I knew that. Totally knew that, dude. Totally knew that. Anyways, open this chest right here. You got a pizza heart! Collect five pieces to form a new heart container and increases your life energy. So yes, instead of the standard four that you'd f expect to find from the Legend of Zelda games, you actually have to collect five in the uh, Twilight Princess in order to get another heart, heart container. So there's, yeah, there's more than three in this game. It's not that, it's not that bad. <laughs> Okay. Wow, that, wow, that went smooth. <laughs> okay. Um, in case you're wondering if you actually uh, needed a key or you forgot about a key, if you actually got it or not, the keys will actually appear. Whoa, dude! Not cool. I'm not tasty. I'm not on the menu. Not on the menu. Bish. <laughs> All right. And these plants actually leave these little seeds behind. I believe they actually contain something. Oh, more seeds. Yay, the irony. Uh-uh. No killer plant. Anyways. <coughs> now that we've done that, we're going to head over to where um, Tallow probably is. Uh, kill the key on the way. Yeah, these bats are actually called keys in legitimate Zelda terminology, I believe. Oh, uh, we got two gremlins here. Get a microwave! We need a microwave! We need a microwave! Holy crap! Whew! Okay. And blue rupee. Nice. So now that we've gotten that key from that little dungeon place, now we can open this gate and... Gremlins attack! Gremlins 3, the sequel of the prequel. And he gives us health. Nice. What kind of enemy gives you health? I'll never know. The nice ones that just mean well, but they don't exactly do anything right. Yeah, anyways. More gremlins! Screw it. Uh, doing the spin attack is actually a great way of getting rid of more en enemies, so... You might find yourself doing it quite a bit. 
In order to evade, you actually have to uh, lean in the direction you want to go and then just press A. I didn't really explain that before, but hey, we've never exactly had a situation where I needed to. Okay, grass. I am the professional lawnmower. All bow before me. Okay. Why are you running? <laughs> I love his cries. Like, <laughs> woo! Hey, woo! You're super. Now just buy something, hey? That bird has an afro. Was this the Afro series or something? Jeez. So, um, this shop's a little special. Um, if you go in here and you actually get something in here, like if you fill up your bottle or refill your uh, lantern with more oil, uh, you'll actually have to put the rupees in here, this little box right here, I'll show you. And you just uh, click clicking up until you think you've gotten a, given a good amount. But if you don't pay enough, she's actually going to stop you and start pecking your head until you die. I'm not kidding. The bird is evil. The Afro bird is evil, yet the other Afro guy is uh, good. It's like some kind of bad anime or something. I don't know. Anyways, we go up here, and we're going to fall down here because there's a killer plant. I'm not a zombie. Go away. Evil. Monkey. Okay. Now that we've done that, there is a chest over here containing more rupees. Ten, to be precise. All right. So, we're gonna head up here and... Monkey's in a barrel. <laughs> well, at least we know where Tallow is, right with the monkey. Apparently the monkey was being ca held captive too. Go figure, right? The monkey is a good guy, the monkey is a lie. Kill the gremlins! Put a microwave! Get a microwave! Microwave! There weren't microwaves back then, we're screwed, man, we're screwed! Help! Get me out of here! I love how the monkey's frozen. So, in order to get them out of the cage, you actually have to beat the crap out of the cage for some stupid reason. You'd think that would actually hurt them, but no. Go figure, right? And there we go! We freed Tallow! So happy. If you hadn't come, Snag, gee... Me and that monkey probably would have gotten eaten, probably. She's actually a nice gal, that monkey. She tried to protect me, so we got captured together. Um, Snag, you're not going to mention this to my dad, are you? He's always telling me to never, ever go into the forest, because he says it's dangerous. So you really can't tell him. Really, you have to promise. I ain't promising nothing, brother. Snag. Oh, crap. My son told me Tallow disappeared in the woods, and had not returned. I came as soon as I heard. But it looks like you've brought him home already. I apologize. Such a task should not fall to you. Tell me, have you noticed how strange these woods seem lately? I feel uneasy about what it may lie in wait. Anyway, Snag, tomorrow is finally the day you will be departing for Hyrule. I think it is a good time I have given you this task to you. <laughs> Good luck and return safely. If you're lucky, you may even get to meet Princess Zelda. 